my name is yogesh sharma and today i am going to demonstrate that how i can upload images in your uh, server folder or in your database table okay in my last video i explained that how we can upload the images in your server server side or you can say the on your application server but in this video tutorial i am just going to to tell you that how we can upload the images on your web server so to explain this i am just taking a new database that is the videos database and in this video database i am going to create a new table i am just taking a field that is the id and uh, i am just taking integer type variable and uh, integer uh, type variable i want to make this auto increment to make this auto increment you have to select the data type and go to the identity specification then is identity equals to yes okay so the id will be incremented by the sql server itself now another field that is the image name here i am going to take and where the data type now images my database table name is images everything is fine to understand this video you have to visit my last video based on file upload control but here i am going to demonstrate uh, quickly that what is i have done in my last video here you can see that uh, at the click of button i am just taking i have taken two controls first one is the file upload control and second one is the button control and the click of this button control i am right i wrote this uh, code here i am just uh, empty the Uh, level text and level text is using to show the messages that the file is uploaded or not extension file uh, or the the map path or the ex absolute path of your file folder i have explained in my last video here i am just taking that file is uploaded or not okay uh, here i am getting the extension of uh, of the uploaded file uh, here i am just taking a um, method that is a system dot io dot path dot get extension method and i'm passing the file name as a method argument okay so here i'm just checking that the my uploaded file is a format uh, is jpg or png or a gif if uh, the format is not matching with these formats then the mess else message or the you know that the message will be prompted that images type can be type uh, jpg png and gif okay but here i am just uh, matching or mapping the my actual application server path that is the images okay i got the images after the to to overcome the problem of duplicate file name i am just taking a guid number in this guid number i am adding i am just uh, creating the image name and i am attaching the guid number with the actual file name so guid number can can't be duplicate and here you can get the image name proper image name so this one is the my proper image name then using the save as method you can upload your file on your web server and level 1 dot text is showing the message that file is saved or not okay so everything is fine now come to the another point that is how we can upload the image file in your web server i have just taken a table i have just created the table which have two fields that the id integer data type which is auto incremented and second field is the image name where i will give the image name into the database table i am not uploading the image into the database server i am just uploading the name of my image which is going to be uploaded so here i am just writing a very simple adio.net code but i recommend that you should use or you should create the stored procedure okay so let me create a stored procedure it's a better approach right click on database select new query create proc sp insert image this is my procedure name and i'm just taking the image name as a variable where care okay as then begin it's a very simple procedure where i am just inserting some data into this table uh, my table name was images 
let me check this yeah it's a images and it have field that is the image name there is no need to uh, wait for it I know that that is a image name and here I'm just taking the input type variable image name the image name e has missing I'm just adding the e image name and close it then select the command execute then your procedure has been created in your database server successfully okay so you go to the programmability and you can see the procedure name now here I am just writing a code to upload the image upload or save image in database table ok and and the reason ok now just write the command to insert the data but here not not using the SQL command I am just using the SQL command object I am not getting the SQL command because I have to pass using system dot data this is the first namespace which is used to get the data set second one is the using system dot data dot SQL client and using system dot configuration why I am using the configuration because I will pass the and I will set the connection string in your web dot configuration file connection string connection string is used to make the connection with your database my database connection name is the co double n and the server I am just adding this server SQL Express okay this is my local server now database database name is the videos and uh, I am login into my database using the windows authentication that's why I have to use integrated security SS PI everything is fine now set the provider name provider name would be system dot data dot SQL client is just in namespace ok now I have created a connection string in my web dot config file and uh, in this CS file I will get the reference of my configuration file by using the configuration manager it means I am I want to say that I am just going to create a connection with the database by using the SQL connection class I am just writing the object of SQL connection and in this constructor I am just writing configuration manager dot connection string and write the connection name which I have just created in my web dot config file everything is fine ok now I successfully uh, make the connection into my uh, I have just uh, created the connection everything is fine now come to the this uh, uh, area in this area I will call the stored procedure and I will pass a uh, input variable that is the image name ok so I am just writing a interface or a SQL command ok SQL command is a class here I am just going to calling the constructor in this constructor I will pass the procedure name that is the SP insert image ok and second argument would be connection here I am taking a single SQL parameter you can see here image name so I have to take SQL parameter SQL parameter param this is my parameter name param equal to new SQL parameter in this parameter constructor you have to pass two things F first one is the input type variable name this is my input type variable name image name ok image name and second parameter would be value 
so here I am just taken the file name you can see here image name okay so my image name would be the image name input variable value image name now I have to set another property that is cmd dot parameters dot add I will pass a reference of param into this add method another thing is the command type cmd dot command type that is command type dot stored page here it's a necessary code which is used to you know to use to cite the stored procedure or used to call the stored procedure okay but in the case of select command there is no need to write this particular line but where you are passing some data to the app, uh, to the app, uh, database server then you have to write this code okay so sql command has been created now i will call the method string result that is the sql command method on name of ex method is execute non query execute non query method is used to perform crud operation like create update delete if you want to perform such kind of operation then you can use execute non query it will return the affected rows in your database the number of affected rows in your database here i am adding a image name that's why one will be returned into this execute non query method okay yeah if your image is successfully uploaded then you can check it if it is greater than 0 it means that your file has been uploaded then you can see or you can set the message level 1 dot text image is uploaded uploaded into database table ok database table ok so I have to call a method that is a con dot open I want to make this a perfect code so it means that I have to take a try case block I should take a try case block as uh, yeah no problem select the code right click is a shortcut way to write the try cache and go to the surround with in this surround with you have an option that is the try f you select the try f then you will find that the all the code block has been added into the try block and the catch block is uh, skip because you used try f if you used try catch then try catch will become finally will be skipped so in the finally block I will close the connection which which is I opened into the this code okay now executed file upload example it will take some time first time it will uh, it takes some time because uh, the all the process of uh, compilation and execution is executed but uh, the cache will be created in another uh, time execution okay so they need to uh, there is no need to worry that your file is taking so much time to upload in our web browser select the file uh, go to the pictures select any file which you want to upload open then upload image then you can find the saved method or saved message is be prompted why saved method is prompted because I have overwrite the label text over here ok in this block I have just write written the level 1 dot text image is uploaded but in this section the value of level 1 text will be changed so let me check it that the file is uploaded or not here you can see there are 4 files but if I refresh then you will find uh, another file name has been uploaded now go to the database and uh, browse your table then you will find a new record should be inserted over here just write like this so my file name has been added now now
Now let me select another file with the same name. Just go to the my pictures, select man2 which I already uploaded, then click on upload image. Then you will find an image is also added over here because I am using the GUID number. So there is uh, there is no chance of duplicating of your file. Okay, so every file will be uploaded on your web server. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.